guys, I'm Bree. And I'm Emily. And sometimes, sip happens. Ready? Okay. <laughs> okay guys, so for this week, um, I have my friend Emily on with Hi. me. And she can tend to be a little bit um, opinionated in a very great way in the fact yeah. that she just doesn't care what you think. She's just going to tell you what she thinks. Yeah, and right. so for this week, I am going to be asking her some questions that a lot of people tend to have opinions on, and we're just going to kind of get her take on them all. Uh, Emily, what are we drinking this week? This week we are drinking UV Blue with Sprite and a dash of pineapple. It's it good. Can't taste anything. Super tasty. <laughs> Alright, Emily, my first question for you is... Taylor Swift versus Kanye West. Right. Whose side and why? I'm going to have to go with Team Yeezy on this, and I don't even really like Kanye West. It's just more so that I hate Taylor Swift. <laughs> and I don't hate her in that nice bandwagon hate. I hate her in the sense that her face reminds me of, like, a rat. Her features are so close together. It's really mousy. Let's just put it this way. <laughs> I prefer Taylor Swift back when her guitar was covered in teardrops and she wasn't pissing me off every day. Alright, the next question I have for you is, Bring it on. what are your thoughts on Kanye West being $53 million in debt? Same. Same. <laughs> Same. He brings up a lot of good points, like textbooks should be cheaper, like, same. Cool, buddy. Same team. Hit me up. And I respect his style of hitting up Mark Zuckerberg, but I think, ultimately, Kanye West is full of shit. Okay, Kylie, Kendall, or Caitlyn Jenner? Which one? Growing up, I always had this island, this made-up island, that if somebody pissed me off, I would just think to myself, like, yep, one-way ticket to my island, you're gone, just vanished from the world. <laughs> It's like a, you're stuck on this island, it's just an island of shitty people. Kylie Jenner would be there. <laughs> with Taylor Swift. I love Kendall Jenner. I love Kendall. I think she's, aside from Chloe, who's my favorite Kardashian, I think Kendall is the most down-to-earth and most normal of them. I hate the Kardashians, but, like, <sighs> That's whatever. normal. A lot of people hate them. Alright, Emily, did you happen to see the Apple customer service... Um, announcement today. Uh, FBI was like they're looking they asked um, Apple to kind of make a backdoor entrance into all iPhones. <laughs> so that Apple like backdoor is what you're telling me. Well no Apple declined the backdoor offer. So the FBI likes the backdoor. <laughs> Anyways, so they kind of asked for a way to get into iPhones without having like the codes and stuff to kind of break into them. Well, Apple came out and wrote this release and posted it today basically saying, yeah, no, sorry, FBI, we're not doing that. I always knew I liked Apple for a reason, <laughs> and they got my back. <laughs> my mother would be really, really just disappointed in me. <laughs> okay, so there's been a lot of talk, I guess, over Beyonce's halftime performance. Where do you kind of stand on that spectrum? I enjoy the Super Bowl for the commercials, the halftime show, and the asses and football pants. <laughs> for one of those top three to kind of be a major letdown this year, and I am talking about the halftime show, <laughs> it was really awful. I like their early depressing Coldplay. I don't think they should be upbeat and happy. I think they should really maybe get Stick back to, to that dark it. place. Because it was awesome. Great Coldplay. Not a fan of the new Coldplay. I liked the Beyonce because she was awesome. I think she's a performer, and I like that. Not many people are performers today where they sing, they dance, they do the whole package. True. So I like that she does that. I don't give a shit what she's singing about. She could be singing the ABCs, and I'd be like, that bitch knows what she's doing. She's got it. She's got it. She'd make me want to sing the ABCs. Like, I would stand up for my own race, so I can't fault somebody for standing up for theirs. And I don't think she does it in a disrespectful manner. I think she does it in a way, she's not hurting anyone else. She's just kind of speaking her mind and making the cool music at the same time. So hats off to you. And then there was Bruno Mars. He's just a fucking hobbit. I'm sorry, I can't, I do not like Bruno Mars. I think he's a great dancer, I'll give him that. He's a good, really good dancer. But as far as 
Bruno Mars. I just don't like him. So oh, this is a good one. Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? <laughs> God damn it! And this is for like the president of the country, right? Like it's yeah. not. I would hang out with Donald Trump. Like I would party with Donald Trump because I feel like he knows his way around a good time. He's he's he seems fun. He looks like he's fun. He's got money to be fun. <laughs> he's got it. But I don't, don't know if I'd put him in the Oval Office. I would say, put me in the office, bitches. <laughs> Allison, 2016. All right, and I have one last question for you. Is Detroit the new black? Um, <laughs> when people are like, oh, Detroit's the new black, what's the old black? All right, guys, well, that's it for this week. Um, be sure to check out Sip Happens every Thursday. There's new videos every week. You know, sometimes your opinions aren't very well liked by other people and and like that's okay because, you know, Sip Happens. And sometimes you're just unapologetically honest. Cheers. <laughs> I think I just booked my one-way ticket to <laughs>